Well, it's another rainy day on the server. And oh, boom, oh, 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 and I'm the only one on. <laughs> Sad times. Anyway, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. It is episode something, because I can't remember. I am not organised at all. Anyway, since the last couple of episodes, I haven't recorded at all. Last time I recorded was last week, and it was the Ender Dragon fight. We also did a Wither fight you may have seen. Um, however, um, the Wither fight you saw was not this beacon here. It actually was Callum's, and then we did a separate one. However, um, the footage was a bit weird, and it kind of glitched out on me, so I won't be showing that. And this is dark in here. But yeah, we've got a beacon now, and everyone on the server put together all their blocks, and basically we've got a speed... Why is it not... Why is it not showing up? It was literally just... Hang on a second. Hang on a little second. Hang on. Okay, for some reason it's actually not showing up now, which is really dodgy. I've noticed that's a glitch as well. It doesn't actually show up the effect. Now it does. It's so weird. Anyway, um, in today's episode, I thought... Would do a little thing at spawn. Um, basically, I have a huge melon and pumpkin farm over my base, and a lot of people like to come over and use it, which is absolutely fine. But seeing as I'm a greedy bastard, I like to have them all to myself so I can get all the emeralds, which is fine. I don't mind people coming over and using them. However, I thought I'd. Ooh, what the hell is this? Holy pumpkin melon house. Enter at own risk. Hello? I'm entering at my own risk. Hmm. Basically, I want to build a huge, 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 huge melon and pumpkin farm here at spawn. And it'll always be loaded because it's at spawn. And then people can come over, get as many melons and pumpkins as they want, and then trade in, um, you know, in with the villagers for emeralds. Yes, basically. And the plan is to have a huge 14 by 14 by 14. Uh, half melon and half pumpkin building. So half of the building will be made out of melons, the other half will be made out of pumpkins. On the pumpkin side will be the massive pumpkin tower coming out. On the melon side will be the huge melon tower coming out. That's the plan. Hopefully that will work. I did originally want to build it over here, but seeing as Dan is um, doing some really cool stuff, he's making like a huge wheat field and it looks absolutely awesome from up there. You may have seen it at the beginning of the episode. Um, so I was going to build it here, but ooh, I think he wants to do the wheat on this side as well, so I don't want to kind of, um, you know, get in on his territory. So I thought a good place to do it would be over here, possibly. So I'm going to go grab a load of resources and basically make a start. Okay, so this thing is kind of actually taking place at the moment, um, taking shape even. Uh, what I've noticed is because it's 14 by 14 high and half of it is melons and half of it is pumpkins, it's got like a weird visual illusion where it looks higher than it is wider because it's kind of lines going up. Anyway, yeah. So um, this is pretty much it. I've got the height on it. This is what it's going to look like on the inside. I'm thinking I might change some of these to jack-o'-lanterns on the inside and give like a little pattern. But um, basically, I'm going to have loads of chests here, probably either side going up. And then on top of the massive... Um, building we're gonna have the melon pumpkin farms going up into the sky I'm thinking of killing this building maybe like a pelone or a mumpkin or something along those lines maybe sort of yeah but anyway the problem we're getting into is we don't actually have enough melons and pumpkins because I've been using them all to trade with the villager and my base so, we've actually kind of run out, so I'm going to have to do a lot of AFKing um, at my base to get the melons and pumpkins uh, going again. But we've pretty much run out. I think I've got one double chest left of melons. Um, pumpkins, we are now completely out of. Um, which which is fine, which is fine. Um, we're all, always going to have more melons and pumpkins because melons drop more when they get farmed. But... Um, yeah, this project is actually going to take a long time to do, and I'm hoping to get it all done in one episode, because I've got a lot of free time today um, to do this. So, um, yeah, redstone is not a problem at all. I've still got loads and loads of redstone. Um, TS the pilot is on. He just said hello, welcome back. I had to log out because I lagged quite a bit. That keeps happening at the moment. Um, 
So yeah, the next thing basically to do AFK for a bit and then get all the melons and pumpkins flowing and then basically I'll show you when I've done the complete building and the interior and then I'll get started on the redstone towers at the top. Ow! Damn it, damn you freaking cactus. Ow! Damn you. It feels like I've been here before. Hmm. Look at this place. It is freaking awesome from up here. It just looks amazing. The amount of work that people have done here. I think still think Cracks Path looks amazing. Uh, anyway, we still don't have enough pumpkins. We've finished the melons. Um, actually, Bloxy's come over Ooh. and donated some melons. He's just chilling out now. Um, he donated quite a few melons. So we've done the melon side. All we need to do now is the pumpkin side and... We are really not done with that, so I just thought, you know, I'd leave it for a bit and get on with doing the uh, actual main melon farm itself. And I think, at this stage, it should be working, unless I've missed some things out. Oh, no, it's, uh, oh god, no, because I've done it differently, haven't I? Yeah, I've, um, it's actually sunken slightly into the ground, um, so I'm not going to be able to test that unless I go under here, maybe? Yeah, there. Nope, where is it? Oh god, how have I built this? I may have messed this up slightly. You know, I can I can afford to break and break some melons, so uh, let's just let's do that. Oh, okay, so we've done it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So we do this. One, two, three, four. That sounds good. So it is working. Um, I had a few ideas um, on how I could wire this up. I was thinking of having just maybe a clock um, just up here that would be running all the time and then have some redstone running down into the room with a button so people can come in and manually press it if they need some instantly and there's none in the chest rather than just sitting and waiting. Um, it's not one of the most visually nice buildings to look at but I kind of like the way that it stands out and is ugly but has a really nice purpose to it. I don't know why I kind of like the idea of that. Um, yeah but this place is nice and the iron farm is working really well. Let's see if I can just get around and down somehow. Yeah I was just casually working and I saw this massive thing moving in the distance and um, oops, some fence there and uh, yeah I saw an iron golem fall down so let's just see how many uh, iron golems have been spawning while I've been over here. I don't know why I did that. I could have just jumped around and come around. Anyway, so when I last checked, um, it was all spread out. And whoa, 53! Holy crap! How many were? Hang on, let's just compare this to last time. Last time it was literally just like that. So 26. That's what. Uh oh. It was 26. It was 26. It was definitely 26. There you go. And then that nine was mine, I believe. Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. This thing's working really well, and it's... I don't know um, where Stealthy got the design from, but I've never seen this one before. You've only got one villager um, capsule, not all the way around, and it's tiny, but it still pops out the golems really well. Um, so I'm probably going to continue onwards with doing the melon tower on this side. There's Bloxy. Um, see if I can get back up somehow. I'm just going to a nerd pole up. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to continue onwards with doing the melon farm and tower, and then I'll work on this when I've got enough pumpkins. That's going to be a lot of AFKing, so for you guys, that's literally just going to be like probably a 10 minute episode, but for me, this is going to be about 3 hours worth, just because I'm waiting for all these. Uh, oh, hello. Do a bit of pro sniping. Oh, yes, that's one. Two, yeah, I, I lost my bow somewhere, and I don't know where it is, I've, I'm just left with this bow. Punch one, flame one. I have no idea where my bow went. I may have lost it or broken it. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. This is an historic moment for Juicy Joe. I'm about to use an ender pearl for the first time on the server. Because I need some sand, and I'm lazy and don't want to jump in the water. Right, we've got to make this cool. We've got to make this really cool. We've got to warm up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be good. What? 360! Whoa, that was actually really cool. Anyway, yeah, so we need sand for some glass for the build. I want to basically make um, some, basically, like the tubes I've got on my base. But, um, 
uh, inside the melon and pumpkin. So I want some orange glass and some green glass. And sand, for me, seems to be the rarest thing at the moment, even though I live practically right next to a maze of biome, because my base is over there. Um, I really hope Andrew doesn't mind me tearing out this sand on this maze. I don't know if he wants to use it or not. If he does, I will, I will happily go and put all the sand back. But, um... Yeah, the, I, I haven't sat, found a desert at all on the server yet. I, have, I don't think I've even been in one. I may have. I'm just being stupid. I'm not sure. But uh, I'd say about two stacks will do. Um, progress update. We have still not got enough men, uh, pumpkins. Um, they're still just... We haven't got a roof on it yet. Um, the towers are kind of... They're getting getting along, but we're going to need a lot of iron for that. And I may talk, may talk too stealthy about taking some from the iron farm seeing as it's working quite well now um, because it's going to be for everyone so if the iron is going to be from the iron golem farm then I don't see why that should uh, be a problem but yeah it should be up and running by the end of the episode hopefully I'm just going to have to try and get the timer in there and things like that and it's going to be a lot of work I didn't realise how big this freaking project was going to be so two stacks I think that's enough for now we have to end pull back up the mountain and there's some dirt there I'm not sure why so let's see I'm not quite sure how far I can get it let's see if I can do it from here that does look a bit high for enderpearls but oh god oh if I hit the side of the cliff I'm dead actually no I shouldn't be I've got a feather falling four so uh, I'd say about there nope 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 that was pointless uh, um okay um yeah, I'll see you over at the Melon Pumpkin Farm. Okay, so I think I've built these vertical farms high enough now. I'm not going to go any higher because I haven't got the materials to. I've still got some iron left, but I kind of want to have some spare. And Oh, hello. Someone's back. Back again. Guess she's back. Tell a friend. Um, but I think what we're going to do now is put the seeds in and then... Um, hey, and then... Hello. Hello. Put the seeds in, get it going, set a timer up on top of the roof uh, so it's actually churning out melons and pumpkins. So when we're working over here, we'll actually be able to get the pumpkins and things um, to actually make the roof. Uh, yeah, so I've got the, all the glass melting back at my base. Um, so the tubes are basically going to come down here into the double chest. So you come in and it's, it's not going to be furnished. The idea is you don't need to go on the roof. You just come in here and there's like those are double chests stacked on top of each other. And I think... Yes, I made this good. I've made this uh, even, so we can have double chests like that. It's actually quite a happy mistake. So the hoppers will come down the back and fill up the chest. So you can just come in, get some, go out. Um, so yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is get on with building the timer. Um, it's going to be the same timer that's over my base. So I need to go get some slime blocks to make sticky pistons and need some iron for hoppers. So I will see you when I'm done. So for you guys, you've been watching, hopefully, for about 13 to 11 minutes. However, for me, I've been recording for about three hours. So my time is pretty much almost up here today. Um, I think I'll do some bit more recording later on. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's taken shape slightly. It, it It's pretty big, and I didn't realise how big it would be and how much time it would take up etc etc um, I still haven't finished the roof and the actual farms on top can be infinitely expanded upwards um, so here we go uh, Juicy Joe's Community Melon and Pumpkin Farm it will automatically wait it will harvest automatically or manually when button is pressed the grammar is a bit bad there grammar is a bit bad um, because the sign you can only fit so many words on so basically I've got a clock up here I'll just show you this is for maintenance really no one really needs to come up here unless they want to have a look um, so here we can see the clock working. There's 64. Uh, there's two stacks of 64 that go between the two. Um, when a stack leaves this hopper on the left, it will harvest the pumpkin side. So you'll see that in a couple of seconds. Then when it leaves that side, it will harvest the melon side. So yeah, there's also a manual button down there too, which will automatically harvest whichever one you want if you need melons or pumpkins quickly. So there you go. It left got it going and all the pumpkins and melons should be falling down they're not all grown yet so it's not working so it's full efficiency but this is up here on the roof still haven't finished this which I need to do soon as you can see that yeah they're not all grown yet but I can I can span this all the way up to world height and it will be super super efficient and really quick 
Uh, I have slightly run out of iron, um, so I can't do the hoppers for all the chests. I'm hoping to have loads of chests going up like that because that look really cool. Um, but I'm really happy with the way the glass actually goes with the pumpkins and melons. I think it actually looks really nice. Um, so that is pretty much this thing done. Um, I may have to talk about... I did say this earlier. I talked to Stealthy about... Um, the iron farm. Um, I've been seeing a lot of um, lot of iron golems being killed in this thing. And look at that. It's really, 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 really going for it. And my lecture on. I thought because this episode is a bit short at the moment. About 30 minutes. I like to kind of go to about 20. Um, I was going to go into the nether and show you guys what I've been up to. Um, as you may know, there is a nether fortress. Um, and... With a skill, the skeletons spawn on there too, and we want to basically um, increase the efficiency on them. So the way you do that is by putting those half slabs around in the nether. And I thought I'd show you how much has been done and how efficient it actually makes the nether fortress at spawning with the skeletons. So I'll see you over there. I was just thinking about that last clip, and I really mumbled towards the end there. I kind of forgot what I was talking about. I just started saying random words, but here we are. Um, I think it's me, Andre, Andrew, and a couple others have just occasionally been coming over here and half slabbing it all. Um, this is probably a bad example because nothing's actually spawned here, but um, usually a lot of mobs spawn here now because there's nowhere else to spawn. Either that or they're all spawning in different places. I don't know how far you have to go, but usually when I come over here, this place is filled with wither skeletons. Um, it's just filled with one lonely magma cream. Oh, careful now. Careful now. Give me that. Give me your give me your slam. Give me your cream. Ow. Ow. Uh, he slammed over me, fool. There we go. So, this put... Oh, there we go. Look at that. They, they, oh, they blaze like crazy. They spawn like crazy. These guys are a bastard. Like, really. Every time I come over here to freaking slab stuff, they just spawn constantly. And I've got a flame bow, which is probably the worst type of bow to fight these guys with. And I really need a new bow as well, because my other bow went missing, so... Come on. Ooh, I didn't really know that I was going to hit. Oh, where are you going? Stop being so sneaky. There we go. Sweet. So, yeah, this is what I've been doing in my spare time when I've got nothing to do. I'll just listen to music, come over here and do this, which is really nice to do. So, I'll go back to the spawn and finish off the episode. Oh, okay. So, on my way back, these guys decided to spawn. Ugh. Come on. Damn it, I don't want bones. I want freaking heads. Give me your head. That sounds weird. Oh, damn it. Coal. Bowls. Okay, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up today's episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>